Hello and welcome back to Engineering Dynamics. I'm your host, Dr. Walk. Today we are going to be discussing how most books and most professors break up engineering dynamics. So the first part is usually describing particles and the second part is describing rigid bodies. The way they do that is because a lot of the concepts are easier to describe with a particle versus a rigid body. However, they are the same concepts. So everything you learn in the first part of your class can be applied to your second part. The second part just has a couple more parameters um, and a different way of looking at things, okay? So I invite you to think about what is the difference between a particle and a rigid body. Or first, maybe you could help me answer, what is a rigid body? Okay, a rigid body is something that particles, they have the, a constant distance between themselves. That distance isn't gonna change over time. So for example, is a fishing pole a rigid body? If you answered no, you're correct. Think about a rigid uh, a, a fishing pole. If you catch a fish, that pole will bend. So really it's not rigid, okay? Um, now answer my first question. What is the difference between a rigid body and a particle? It really kind of boils down to the shape, okay? Rigid bodies have a shape and the shape is really defines its function, why it is the way it is, okay? And the main term between the two is gonna be angular momentum, okay? So the way this is shaped is going to cause an angular momentum and it will be different if you force this object to move this way versus this way, okay? So that's really the main difference, kind of easy. Next time we are going to be talking about coordinate systems. Coordinate systems, again, are actually gonna be the same for both a particle and a rigid body. Um, there are four types of coordinate systems that I teach. Most books only cover three, so you're gonna get a little extra with me. If that interests you, please stay tuned for our next video.